it's over. Glickenhaus will end their WEC hypercar program for the foreseeable future. The American manufacturer will not race their Le Mans hypercar in 2024 and unfortunately beyond. And so for this video, I will break down everything you need to know on why Glickenhaus are ending their WEC adventures. Scuderia Cameron Glickenhaus was an integral part of the World Endurance Championship, having been in the hypercar class since its WEC inception in 2021. And in fact, the American manufacturer was the first manufacturer to announce a hypercar project. But after three seasons in hypercar, Glickenhaus has announced that they will not continue into 2024, and company owner and founder Jim Glickenhaus has stated that the operation is effectively over. But I still haven't answered the question, why? What is going on at Glickenhaus that made them not continue their hypercar project? Well, the main reason for this decision seems to be financial issues. This manufacturer has needed financial backing to continuously update that SCG007, but unfortunately, they didn't get enough. Glickenhaus is a small manufacturer. They do not have the same resources compared to the likes of Toyota, Porsche, and Cadillac, for example. Those manufacturers racing have backing from their daily road car sales, where Glickenhaus does not. This lack of financial support is one of the reasons why Glickenhaus was not able to travel over to Japan for the six hours of Fuji or Bahrain for the eight hours of Bahrain. And ultimately, this all trickles down to the performance of the car itself. Glickenhaus does not have the ability to consistently update their hypercar, and this essentially does not allow them to contend at a similar level to those other manufacturers. Okay, let's go back a year to the 2022 season when Glickenhaus achieved two podiums, one of them being at the 24 Hours of Le Mans, a pole position, and almost a win. If they didn't have the turbo issue at the 6 Hours of Monza, they would have been victorious. Then if we look to the 2023 season, Glickenhaus's performance was not the same. Their highest finishing position was at the 24 Hours of Le Mans, when they finished 6th and 7th overall. So you may ask the question, why did Glickenhaus achieve these big results in 2022, but not in 2023? Well, one of the reasons was because they weren't able to update the SCG007 from the year prior, but the main reason was competition. It wasn't that Glickenhaus changed something for the worse, it was that there was change around them. Okay, here's the 2022 grid of the 24 Hours of Le Mans in Hypercar four hypercars on the grid, and an additional entry from Alpine, which was a grandfathered LMP1 car, so I will not count that as an LMH or LMDH. Then for the 2023 Le Mans, it was a huge difference. 16 hypercars on the grid, that's an additional 12 from 2022. So because of the amount of competition in 2023, there was no way for Glickenhaus to achieve podiums like they did in 2022. And I think they saw really into the future as well, because the hypercar class is once again expanding, with four new manufacturers joining and more entries from customer teams like Jota Sport coming in for next season. So with the amount of competitors to compete against and the financial issues, there was no point for Glickenhaus to continue. And this was backed up in Jim Glickenhaus's interview with Motorsport.com when he announced this news. No, we won't be entering. It doesn't make sense for us. To be competitive, we need to do an Evo version of the car, and to run two of them. That's not viable for a privateer. The only way we could do it would be with sponsorship or if a customer wanted to run a program with our car. So while Glickenhaus's program is over and the SCG 007's future in endurance racing doesn't look good, there is still that very small possibility that this LMH car does make a return one day with a customer team running it. I don't think this is likely to happen, but what if a smaller company was considering racing in hypercar? What better way to enter than with a built car that's ready to go? So for a hypothetical team like that, to collaborate with Glickenhaus may be the best option. Honestly, there is a chance that Glickenhaus's car comes back with a customer team. A lot can change in motorsport. 
Just look at Aston Martin. Their Valkyrie LMH program was effectively cancelled, but then it was revived to start racing in 2025. But as for the factory-backed Scuderia Cameron Glickenhaus team, that operation in the WEC is over. And this program's end is not only about Glickenhaus. Glickenhaus's engine supplier Pipo Motors is no longer involved in a WEC project, and neither is the legendary German team Jost Sport. For those unaware, Team Jost alongside Podium Advanced Technologies were the team that ran the SCG 007s in Hypercar. Jost is also the most successful team across the entire 24 hours of Le Mans. That is quite a record. They were most famous for collaborating with Porsche and Audi to help them achieve victories at Le Mans. Now that the Glickenhaus project is over, that frees up an opportunity for Yo Sport to reactivate an old partnership with none other than the legendary manufacturer Porsche. Yost is the reason why Porsche have 19 victories at Le Mans, and I think it would be cool to reactivate that partnership with Yost running one or two customer 963 Porsches. Not saying this is going to happen or anything like that, but I think it would be cool if it did. So if Glickenhaus had financial issues with traveling to all these different places across the world for the WEC, you might be asking, why don't they race in IMSA? There is space in the GTP class, and considering that Glickenhaus is located in New York, they wouldn't have to travel far considering that all the IMSA races are located in North America. Well, unfortunately, Glickenhaus cannot enter IMSA, and here's why. IMSA has a rule where you have to sell at least 2,500 road cars in order to participate in GTP. Glickenhaus is a small manufacturer, and unfortunately, they do not do that. So now that Glickenhaus's program in Hypercar has ended, what is next for the American manufacturer? Well, according to Motorsport.com, Glickenhaus's focus will now be on making road cars and their SCG004. This is their GT sports car and Glickenhaus hopes to return to the 24 hours of Nürburgring and race this car. So even though they're done racing in hypercar, their journey in racing is not over just yet. At the end of the day, it's going to be sad to see Glickenhaus leave the World Endurance Championship. The team and car were a fan favorite across the community of the WEC. And for the first two years of hypercar, this small team were the underdogs against the giants of Toyota. They have also achieved quite a bit with this SCG007. Two things I can think of in particular were finishing on the overall podium of the 24 Hours of the Mob back in 2022, and they have a 100% finishing rate at the 24 Hours of the Mob. So while their journey in the WEC may be over, Team Glickenhaus will never be forgotten. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you're interested in endurance racing and you're not subscribed yet, I highly suggest you do so. I make content on WEC and IMSA every single week. And speaking of content, here are some videos you can watch right now. So thanks for watching, I'll see you all in the next video.